Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with another segment of What Would Nikki Do? For my new subscribers, this is a segment that I do where I answer questions when you write into me when you have dilemmas around your home. So we're going to jump in and help out our girlfriend, Jan, today. And Jan comes all the way from Florida. And Jan's issue is, how do I get my house unpacked? So let's jump in and help her out. Hi friends, how are you doing? I hope you are doing absolutely fabulous on this wonderful start to our week. And so I'm so excited to be here today to share with you a video on some of my moving organizational tips that I've learned over the years. For my new subscribers that may not be familiar with me, you know, I'm a former military spouse. My husband has retired from the Air Force. My dad's retired from the Army. So I have spent my life actually just moving around. And the great thing about that, though, is I learned so many tips on how to efficiently pack up a home and how to efficiently and quickly unpack a home. And so Jan is struggling with that right now because she just moved into her new space. Boxes are everywhere. The kids are now out of school and she's like ready to throw up her hands and say, where do I start? And her question to me was, where do I start? You know, and I'm sure a lot of us can relate to that, having boxes everywhere and feeling overwhelmed. Not only are you trying to get everything in a place, you're in a new place. So trying to figure out where to put what and, you know, kids may be running around or bored and, and trying to keep them occupied and you're not fully set up as a kind of functioning house so you know meals are difficult and so it can be stressful and so the beautiful thing that I learned over the years is just you know not to stress over it that it is going to get in place and your home is going to be set up now to cut down on the stress there are a lot of things that you can do organizationally wise that can really help and that's what I'm sharing with you today so I'm going to jump in and help you with that but first I want to show you Jan's space because Jan sent a picture and she shared a picture of kind of what she's dealing with and if you look at the picture, it's really not any different than what we would all be struggling with. You can tell that she kind of took time to pack things in, things in boxes and bins and, and kind of keep things orderly to kind of help her move along. And so, which is great. And so now let's help our friend girl out trying to get her home in order. So here are the tips, the organizational tips I want to share with you, and I hope you will find them helpful. Okay, creating a processing center has always been key for me. And basically, I never wanted my movers to kind of put all the boxes in the appropriate rooms and then just leave. That didn't work for me because it's too much chaos. I don't like the boxes in the room because I can't think about how I want to arrange the room. The boxes are in the way and it's just so overwhelming. So I always created a processing kind of area. Typically, if the house had a garage, it was the garage. And I set it up in a supermarket style so that I had aisles. And what I would do was I would create a map for my movers and let them know and all the time they always were appreciative of this because they didn't have to take the boxes to the different rooms they had one centralized place where they could put the boxes now this is strictly for boxes only any furniture and things like that they need to go directly into the appropriate room and set up in all of that but this is strictly the boxes that have to be unpacked and what I would do is I would arrange them in this style in the garage um, with the boxes that are going to be unpacked closest the rooms that are the key rooms like the kitchen and the bedroom and the bathrooms the rooms that need to be unpacked first closest to the door in the house and so basically if you look here each block represents a room the color code does not represent anything it's just so that you can see a difference by room and then I have it listed out where each box for that room goes so they're supposed to line all the boxes up for that room together in a row in a line and I even put in the white spaces there how many inches I want in between each aisle so you should be able to go in your garage lift your garage door and walk up and down the aisles like a grocery store and see all of your rooms grouped together with the closest rooms to the door to the home being the ones that you're going to unpack first this way all of them are in the house I mean in the garage ready for you to bring in one at a time and unpack and your house is basically vacant um, and ready for you to kind of bring it in one box at a time so that you can kind of think about how you want to do it unpack one box at a time and it helps with the flow of unpacking because typically I don't you know within a week my house is done it's unpacked totally ready to roll and if you do it this way at least for me it's always worked that way now if you don't have a garage you can use the den the largest room in the house and set up your center there if it's still your space is too small to where all your boxes won't fit into one space then you will have to have them put the boxes in the room but have them put it against the wall lined up all the boxes so that you can still think in that room and in function because it's very key that they do that and so if you can set up your garage in a command system type of way that will work 
perfectly. So this is what has always worked for me. And you want to again put the box, the rooms that are going to be unpacked closest to the front of the door nearest the house. And what is important here is um, that you know which rooms need to be unpacked first. Like for me, the kitchen is always key because once I unpack the kitchen, it saves us money because we can get to the dishes, we can get to the food, and everything can be unpacked, and the kitchen is functioning, and we don't have to kind of eat out all the time, and, and you know that kind of thing and so that was key next the bathrooms because you know you use the bathroom every day and so you know having that unpacked and ready is is very helpful so definitely want to do that but what is key is when you're packing up to make sure that you pack appropriately so on your boxes you either want to have color-coded tape for the rooms if you don't have color-coded tape you definitely want to in a big black marker on the side of the box mark bedroom kitchen dishes um, you want to make sure that it's very clear so that the packers know when they line them up you want to be able to see all of that on the side of the box and if you color code be sure to put the color code um, tape on the same room so that they can easily identify you know I did mine's on the computer you don't have to do it on the computer you can simply do it uh, draw it out but simply having that map basically helped me all the time so this was key Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to schedule yourself seven days. And scheduling yourself seven days keeps you from being overwhelmed. And so you know that you're going to have seven days, and at the end of that seven days, your house will be unpacked. And seven days is not a long time. Look how fast a week goes. And so basically how I would set up my days is I would do, day one would be my kitchen. That's a primary space that I want unpacked, so I would only focus on the kitchen that day. Day two would be the bedrooms. And then day three would be the bathrooms. So I'm doing the rooms in order of importance as far as being unpacked for me me and so that's how you want to set it up and that way you only work on that room in that day you're not overwhelmed you still can go to work and accomplish different things that you need to do but you're not killing yourself feeling frustrated because how am I gonna get this house unpacked and things like that you have a schedule you already know how you're gonna get it unpacked and you're not pressured to do so so I love that system Okay, so now that the boxes are in place and we have our plan together, we're gonna start with day one. Now day one with the kitchen, I always, the day, night before, made sure that all my cabinets were lined and clean and the kitchen was clean. And so when you start out the day, you wanna incorporate the family in this moving process. Work room by room together. You know, don't have one person working in one room and work, work, one working in the other one because it gets crazy and then they're coming to you all the time asking, well, where, where do you want this and where do you want that and it's too much. But if you're all together working in one room, everyone knows their responsibilities, the night before when you wake up in the morning you simply have breakfast together as a family and then you jump right in and an example of how it would work assembly line method would be okay dad would bring in a box from the garage one at a time from the kitchen section and of course all the kitchen boxes are right there together so he knows where to go to um, go number two once he brings the box in it goes to little Johnny where little Johnny would open the box and sit the dishes on the counter that you know is assigned then you know little Jenny Jenny would put the dishes in a dishwasher and run the dishwasher and then once the dishwasher is done then you would put it in the cabinet and so that's how it would go you would bring it in a box at a time and you would have that assembly line method you would do that for every room you know if you're doing the living room bring one box in unpack the books one put it unpack it one puts it on the shelf the same difference with the bedroom bring in the clothes um, and you work together in the room every single room is worked together as a team in an assembly line method and if you do that you'll see that the rooms start coming together completely and you don't just have kind of have semi unpacked rooms and things like that but you can see your house fully coming together and you're doing it as a team and everyone understands their role in it and it really is simple so really works Dan and everyone out there I hope these tips will help you if you're in the position where you're just in your new home and moving and trying to get unpacked and friend I want to tell you please don't stress out number one it is going to get in order it just it feels overwhelming now but it will get there and so just take it slowly and know that you're you know this is temporary and so I hope that you all are doing great I want to thank you all for bearing with me the last about two or three weeks with some of my videos I know the um, here's what's for dinner videos I had to cut those out for about two to three weeks because I have some projects going on and things going on my husband and I that are just like consuming our time and so um, we've been kind of focusing on different things in that area so I had to kind of reduce my filming schedule a little bit but now I'm hoping to get back on my regular schedule so I thank you for bearing with me with that I hope 
hope that you all are truly blessed and are really having a great week. And if you're not having a great week, I'm, my prayers are out to you that it is going to be better and fine. So this is Nikki saying goodbye.